Hey, so I just got back from Greece. I spent three weeks traveling through Milos, Santorini, Naxos, Mykonos, and Athens. And for the 21 days I was there, all I packed was one carry-on suitcase and one personal bag. And today I'm gonna show you how I did that. So I usually always travel with a carry-on bag, whether it's my away suitcase or um, the Osprey 5.40. I used to use my Osprey backpack much more. It would get really heavy because it's a 40 liter, so it would get heavy, and I just didn't like having so much weight on my back, so that's when I switched to the suitcase, and I brought that with me on my two-week trip to Europe last year, um, and ever since then, I haven't traveled without it. It's perfect. It has the 360-degree wheels, it has the locks, um, and it has a portable charger, so that's really nice. I prefer to do carry-on rather than checked bags because one, I don't like to wait at the baggage claim once I land. I like to just go straight to my Airbnb or hostel. Two, I like having all my things with me. I don't like having to wonder like if I'm going to need something in my check bag or not. Um, and three, it's just much easier to handle one small um, like carry-on bag rather than a big checked bag, especially if you're getting on and off buses or through taxis or metros. Um, it's just more convenient. All right, this is my away suitcase. Like I said, I got this last year for my two week trip to Europe. Um, it's a hard shell, but it's still pretty flexible. It has the 360 degree wheels, which is really nice going through the airport with. Um, at the top, we have the combination lock to lock the suitcase with the zippers. And in the back, there's a portable charger area, um, and you can actually take it out as well. I usually take it out right before I get on the airplane to charge my phone while I'm on the plane. This is the inside of my away suitcase. Here's a little pocket that carries a laundry bag, but I prefer to use it to put my shoes in. Aside from my underwear and swimsuits, these are all the clothes that I packed to wear for the three weeks while I was in Greece. I rewore a lot of these clothing items though, and some even multiple times. I packed two pairs of track shorts, black jeans, black leggings, denim shorts, overalls, and gray leggings. I also brought 10 shirts in pretty neutral colors. I packed three t-shirts, which I used as pajamas or loungewear for hanging around the Airbnbs, and I also packed one workout shirt or extra loungewear shirt. And finally, I brought two dresses and one jumpsuit. I bought this hoodie in Santorini because it was really cold, but this denim jacket was the only jacket I originally packed. This is the outfit I wore on the airplane, a white button down, gray leggings, my Santorini hoodie, and a denim jacket. I'm not actually going to pack these, so I'll just set them to the side. I prefer to fold my shirts in thirds, then roll them up as tightly as possible. I put my rolled clothes on the side of the suitcase that has the bars because the rolled clothes pack nicely around them. I know that some people swear by packing cubes, and I used to use them also. But now I like to just put all my clothing in the suitcase directly so as not to waste any space. I found that when I used the packing cubes, there was still some unused space left over. Once I have all my clothes rolled up, I'll start placing them in the suitcase, usually starting with the thickest clothes first since they take up the most room. At this point, it's like a game of Tetris, trying to find which clothing items will fit best where. I always leave the thinnest or smallest clothing items for last because they can easily be squeezed into any leftover space. If some items like jeans can't fit well by rolling, I'll just leave them folded and place them on top. I brought one pair of white sneakers that could be dressed up or down, and one pair of sandals. These I got in Greece because the ones I originally packed broke while I was there. I wore these on the airplane though, so I'm going to set them to the side. I'm using the laundry bag to put my shoes in so that they don't get the rest of my items dirty. Now we're moving on to toiletries and electronics. This is all my makeup for the trip. It's just the basics, foundation, mascara, eyeliner, blush, bronzer, etc. I also packed a microfiber towel. This is my toiletries case. I have my conditioner, shampoo, sunscreen, face wash, uh, body wash, anti-itch cream in case I get bit. Um, lotion, toothpaste, toothbrush, razor, face mask, um, like makeup remover cream, and some flossers. This is where I keep all my medicine like Pepto-Bismol, ibuprofen, vitamins, and a couple extra toiletries. I also packed mosquito repellent, dry shampoo, and hairspray. 
This is my electronics bag. I keep all my cords, adapters, my hard drive, and other electronic stuff in here. My MacBook charger doesn't fit super well in the electronics bag, so I just kind of try to fit it anywhere that I can find space for it. I also just try to fit my brush anywhere there's extra space. This is my bag for jewelry. And this is my bag for bobby pins, hair ties, headbands, etc. I left this space up here open so I can fit my bras and swimsuits. So into this little space, I'll put my bras in first, and then I'll start taking my swimsuits and folding them and just stuffing them in the cups of the bra. As for my underwear and socks, I'll just place them anywhere on this side of the suitcase that I can find space for them. I've also packed a canvas bag to use during the day as a purse because it can fit well in the suitcase and a hat to shield my face from the sun. This is the personal bag that I'll be using to put under the seat in front of me on the airplane. I have my laptop and I'll put it in the back in the laptop sleeve, a file for important papers, my camera case, uh, my portable pillow or my travel pillow, I also have my journal, my Kindle for reading, um, a sarong to keep warm, and some snacks. And then finally I have my reusable water bottle. I have my iPhone charger, some headphones or earbuds, um, some wipes and some tissues, chopstick, medicine, and hand sanitizer. My keys for my apartment. Um, an eye mask and my sunglasses. A pen for filling out forms. My phone, my wallet, and my passport case with my passport. All right, so that's everything I packed for my three week trip to Greece. Um, I just got back a couple days ago, and as I mentioned, I wore a lot of clothes again and again, and I even got laundry detergent to do my own laundry in the sink at my Airbnbs. Um, but I have realized that it's possible to pack in a carry-on really for any length trip. Hopefully this video helped you and encouraged you to be able to pack in a carry-on the next time you go on your trip.